Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today we have the new Barbie Design Activity Locker. Now this is more of an activity set, not so much a doll, but it is an ancillary doll accessory in that this is going to be a doll size locker, which is great because it's super cute. It's very basic. It retails for $10, so it's not too crazy to just buy for the locker. You can also get the little accessories that come with it. Little activities right there, mainly some stickers and things. There's a notebook, pen, paper clips, clipboard, folder. It's very cute. Here is the UPC for anybody looking for it. So this is put out by the Terra Toy Group at a Hopodge, New York. I picked this up at my local Walmart. So these are readily available in places. And it's very cool. Like it opens like that. There's not really much like packaging to it, but it's very cool. I like it. It's technically a limited edition, I guess. I don't know if that's actually real or if it's just supposed to be a sticker. But look at the cute little paper clips. They're like literally just hangers. Like, I think that's so cute. And so, very cute. Only $10. Which is not bad, considering for the, um, for the Rainbow High accessory kits... You had to pay, like, 30 I think, or 25 starting out. They did go down a little bit, but still not much. So, I have three different lockers that we're actually going to compare today. And that is the Rainbow High slash Shadow High locker, because they're the same locker, they're just different colors. And then the Real Littles lockers. So, we're going to compare those to the official Barbie one and see which one is the best of the lockers. So I'm going to start by removing our little front piece. So that is what our locker looks like. As you can see, those vents are actually open, which is nice. And then we're going to take our lock out of its little plastic because this lock actually works supposedly but works as well as you know most doll locks would but there's actually a teeny tiny Barbie head on there so that's kind of fun and this actually spins it's not just a button to push I have no idea if that's actually going to be, let's see. Okay, so it just pulls up and down. So there's not an actual locking mechanism, but I do like how it actually works like that. So that's kind of fun. And that's it for the front section. None of these are like stickers that you pull off or anything like that. Um, so let's see what else we've got in here. So you just kind of take it out, I guess. All right. So there is a little bar that goes in here that you put right in your little thing. So it serves as like a closet rack. So that's fun. I think there's supposed to be a shelf that goes in there too. We'll see if it's under there. I think I see it under there in the back. Um, and then I'm gonna tilt down so we can look at some of these because I gotta slice through this tape that's on the side. Mm. Very fun. But you know what? I'm okay with tape. This is not a bad way to have this stored. Um, now, if there are 
little plastic staple things everywhere. Okay, so we do get what looks like two shelves, actually. So that's kind of fun. You get a one on the top and one on the bottom. Um, let's see. So we've got a little double-sided tape that's holding our shelf in there. And this is actually this little dress form thing, a little basic dress, is actually our little pad of paper. So I think that's super cute. That's a great way for kids to feel like they're designing a dress without having to do, you know, the work of figuring out how does a dress actually look. And then we take our other shelf out. And these are the same size. There's a little bit of tape residue on there, but that's okay. We can cheat that to the bottom. Uh, a little bit of scuffing on this other one, but not too bad. Again, you can just cheat what you don't like to the bottom. Uh, and then they just kind of pop in there. They have a little raised edge above slightly. You guys can see what I'm talking about. And you just pop it under there. Like there. I may have put that in there the wrong way. There we go. Okay, so there is a more narrow side, I guess. So that goes in there. And now we've got two shelves and a rack to hang things. Additionally, we have our little lock that we just put our thing right there. And it holds. Very cute. Um, and then we've got a little pen. It's not about the size of the pen, it's about how it writes. Um, but let's see, how does it write? We'll reuse on the back of these stickers. Uh, it's a little gel pen, not bad for its first ink. Aw, you made me ink. But we've got some stickers. Our limited edition Barbie sticker, a little palm tree, Barbie on a bee, a big Barbie head. Very cute, not bad for stickers. Um, but I'm not one for putting stickers onto these doll lockers because they just tear up over the time. Um, and then here is our little paper clip. Very cute, it is a hanger. We'll see if it hangs on there in just a second. And again, we get that in two colors, a light, like a violet and a magenta. And just boop. Right there. Just nice and easy. No fuss, no muss. Um, let's see. I don't know. I have some. So here's a fashion pack with the basic Barbie hangers. Uh, let me show you guys how that works. I have to take it off the package real quick, though. Bum -ba. Okay, always easy to prep your hangers. Just like that. So, it goes in... It's not a perfect fit, really, if you can see that, like, because it's not, when I try to put it fully flush, it comes out past the door, but it'll angle a little bit, so it'll close, so I'm not mad at that, because these are the most common Barbie hangers that we have. Um, there's also, like, the Barbie Extra hangers. Uh, so, you know, you can get those also. 
but that's not bad. Close that back up. We're going to look at the rest of these. So I'm not loving the amount of tape that's on this stuff just because it's a lot of paper that's getting kind of torn off just because that's, you know, what it is. So we've got a little folder, like a file folder, the Barbie files, limited edition as you are. Coming to a Bruce Willis movie near you. <laughs> uh, and we actually get a couple of repeats of stickers. Well, not repeats, but just kind of different versions. So, We've got another Barbie head. Barbie with her friends. I don't really love how Brooklyn has replaced Nikki. Like, I love Brooklyn as a character, but, like, we have Daisy and Teresa and Brooklyn instead of Nikki, which is fine, but, like, she can have two black friends. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't understand that. Uh, but these are cute stickers. And we also have our little notebook that has Malibu and Brooklyn. And it's got real paper in there, so that's good. Not too bad. We also get this cute little clipboard. Let me show you how big this clipboard is compared to a doll. Here we have Midge, another of Barbie's friends from Life in the Dream House. Um, so this isn't a bad size clipboard. It is a little bit big. But it could be like an artist clipboard kind of thing. So, kind of cool. And then we get a couple of peel and stick gems. Which, they're not bad. I don't hate these little like peel and stick gems. Um, but, they're cute. And that's it that's in there. So, of things that I would use for Barbie is probably going to be the clipboard and the locker. Maybe the folder. I don't know. This folder's really big. Let me show you compared to a doll. Like, that is a coffee table book for them. Like, same thing with the notebook. Like, that's a coffee table book. Maybe. So. I would use them. Like, they're cute, but most likely... These will go to my niece as just like a fun little thing for them to play with. But I like the stickers. They're cute. Um, the little sticky notes with the dress is really just like inventive. Like that's cute. And I do like how the little pen can just like clip onto the folder like that. Like, that's fun. And it's the right size to do that. So not bad. And then this is just wasted space, but that's fine. So now, the full point of our video is to compare our Barbie locker to some of our others. Now, most importantly, we're going to compare it to the Shadow High Locker. So here we have Barbie and the Shadow High, Rambo High. These are, Shadow and Rambo High are the same mold. It's just different colors. There's also a lock that comes with this, but it's oversized and I couldn't find where I put it because it doesn't match. Um, but it's still really cute. But as you can see, this one is wider by... Eh, Let's see where we're at. So, about the width of the opening. So, a couple centimeters or so. Maybe a centimeter. I don't know. Let's see. So, yeah, about a centimeter difference. 
And yeah, I did just pull out a measuring tape. <laughs> um, so that's pretty good. Uh, the Shadow High came with a lot more crafts. This is a cute little, like, stocking stuffer. Like, I would save this for Christmas. It's really cute. It's $10. Um, it's self-contained. There is no bigger box. There's no, like, extra packaging. So as far as the wastefulness of this, it's on a good level, I think. You know, there was the insert. So there were really, like, two pieces, or three pieces of packaging. There was this, this, and this. The Shadow High, if you watch my review of that, is a lot bigger. Like, the package is, you know, it's a collectible, or not a collectible, but a, uh, like, a holiday gift set kind of thing. Like, it's huge, the packaging. Like, this takes up the least amount of space in its box. So, I give them points for keeping the packaging to a minimum. The Barbie Locker is slightly shorter like, it's not a huge difference, if you guys can see that. But, like, if I put this there, you notice it still doesn't flow freely across. So I'd say about the thickness of a hanger is the short, the Barbie is shorter than. So it's not bad. It's a, so Shadow High is a little bit wider and a little bit taller, um, which isn't bad. And now... They're the same thickness, though. Like, that's not bad. Oh, and I forgot to take this off the back. Um, I was wondering why I felt that there was still more to do with this. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, and there's some kind of RFID, I think, under here. We're going to try to get this out. This is like a security tag. All right. There we go. If you hear the things popping around, that's just the hangers. Um, but as you can see, they are of a same thickness, really. Like, there's not as big a difference in the thickness as there was um, in the width. Like, it's not as noticeable. But now we're going to bring in the big boy. We've got our big locker now, as you can see. So there is, let's see, <laughs> about a two centimeter height difference. And then let's see about the thickness. So the thickness, we've got about a five centimeter thickness difference. So the big, the real littles is a lot deeper, which is fine. Now, as far as the width, let's see how wide the thing is. So it looks about like a centimeter width difference. Yeah, about a centimeter wider. So that's going to be two centimeters wider than our Barbie locker. You can see that. But it looks really cute. This one has another lock. So all three of these came with locks. Uh, let me show you. Our little one. So that doesn't turn. It is its own separate piece, but it doesn't turn like the Barbie one does. And again, this one comes 
with more accessories. So it's not crazy. Um, you do pay more for this, for this locker. I believe the locker, the real little ones go for 25 normally at least, or it might be 30. I can't remember. I got these on sale, so I got them for, I want to say 10 at a GameStop clearance event. So it was worth it for me to get these. But as you can see, significant height difference, significant size difference. Um, so I don't know. These are very cool. As you can see, they all have their little feet down there. I think Barbie actually made the best locker. Because if you notice, the Shadow High has these little hooks back here. It does have a little top shelf that you can move technically, um, but you only get one shelf. Uh, and it's got those little hooks that are designed to hold like jewelry pieces. So they're not really convenient for like hangers. But with Barbie, we get two, two shelves and a hanger rack compared to the real little where you get one shelf and then like a bag and some other accessories on the side. So you get more ancillary activity or ancillary accessories for inside your locker, which is fine. Those are, those are good. So of the lockers, I think Barbie is the best value for the money. It just is. It's the best value. It's $10. It's the cheapest of the three. It's branded without being obvious. Like it has a big Barbie written up there and it's not the first thing that you see because they didn't ink it in in hot pink or something like that. It's just a, it's raised. So it's gonna come across, but if you cheat it, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see it. You're gonna see a locker if you're doing that in photos. So I think it's great. The, definitely worth the $10 that I spent on it. And I would buy a lot of those. Like honestly, if they go on sale for like $5, I'm gonna buy like 10 more. <laughs> just make a hallway because not only do they serve as lockers they serve as closets which is great so if you guys have questions on these let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it leave me a like and as always follow along for some more fun unboxings bye y'all be good